I'm, I'm speaking from this mountain of prayer, Mount Bethel, in Kakamega County, but you use the Eridoret route because it is in Ilkiani constituency. I've had a very unique experience on this mountain of prayer, Mount Bethel. I came all the way from Kisi to come and pray here. Not because God cannot be found in Kisi. He directed us to this particular mountain. For every time God gives direction, there is a specific reason. The Spirit of the Lord has directed us to the waters. To communicate to a man of God and to a child of God. And to a worker in the field of God. This water represents the people. They will always come and they will always go. There are few that you can be able to contain. Few will stay with you. Come on, like the water you are seeing around my feet. This you can be able to retain. But majority of the people will pass through you as they go. But I don't want you to be disturbed. Because God will continuously bring many to you. You cannot be able to retain all the people at once. Others will stop at another stage. Others at another stage. But they will pass to where you are. They will benefit you in one way or another. And you will become a blessing to them. But as you retain them, remember this. God ordained you for a particular group. And they will never stop coming. As long as you remain in the anointing, as long as you remain anointed, they will never stop coming. The flow of God's people will be continuous. And I want to tell you, child of God, and a minister of the gospel, there is no difference between those who are living and those who are coming. They look alike. And therefore, embrace these new people that God is giving you. Embrace the new people because they will keep coming and they will come in big numbers. Embrace them. Let those that God wants the other side to go. And you welcome those that are coming. As long as you remain at where God positioned you, they will always come. They will always come. And on this mountain, God is reviving people's lives. And the Lord told me, is reviving even the economy of believers in this country and in Africa. Is Jehovah. He has spoken to me. He has spoken to many members that I came with. And I'm here to inform you that God never lies. If you are a believer, prepare for endless blessings. Prepare for endless healing. Prepare for endless breakthrough. Look at my feet. It looks much better. Look at it. The water has left me much better. Yes, the water has gone, but I have remained better. My feet greet us even much better than when I came here. Because this water does not make me dirty. When people leave you, they will never leave you with dirty. You, they will leave you better than they found you. You will be smarter, you will be better, and you will shine for the glory of God. If you are able to see my feet, it is better. And I can tell you, this water only becomes enjoyable when it keeps flowing. If it is stagnant, that will be a bad thing for me. It is much better that it is flowing, coming and going. That is the nature of the Christian church, especially during this revival. May God bless you and keep you moving. I'm talking to a minister that could be thinking like somebody has taken his members. Nobody has taken your members. It is the flow of God. God bless you and keep you strong.